Hello, the mystery is summarized here. Today, I will tell you about a movie based on the true story of the youngest soldier in World War II called Soldier Boy. Spoilers ahead. Be careful and take care of yourself. The film begins in Russia, where a family of three is sitting by a river and enjoying their time. The youngest of them, Sergei Alashkov, was boasting to his brother and mother that he was at the top of a tree when suddenly a German fighter plane flew over his head. The mother asked her children to quickly hide in the bushes, but the six-year-old boy insisted he was not afraid and used a slingshot to hit the plane. To everyone's surprise, he hit the jets and caused them to explode. But when he looked around, his family had disappeared. Sergei woke up from his dream in fear and called his mother. At that moment, someone knocked on his door. Thinking it was his mother, he ran towards her but a frightened neighbor came running. She thanked God for keeping her alive and informed him that her mother and brother were dead. The boy did not understand what his mother said and wanted to stay home and wait for her. The woman told him that the Germans had attacked them and that he should run away. At that moment, soldiers approached their house. The woman took Sergei out the window but was shot before she could reach him. The six-year-old child is currently alone, without family or friends. As Sergei ran away from home, he saw the entire neighborhood burning behind him. He called his mother in vain and ran away from there. After running for a while, he found himself in the middle of the forest. The child started calling his mother to come pick him up because he was lost. That night he stayed in the forest. The next morning, he was seen drinking water from a river when enemy troops approached him. Sergei, knowing that they were dangerous, quickly hid into the tree roots. He was surprised to see a snake approaching but did not say a word or run away. Sergei is more afraid of soldiers than snakes. The soldiers ate by the river and left, then Sergei took their leftovers and devoured them in the night. However, by the end of the day, the little boy is exhausted. He hasn't had a proper meal in two days and has been walking with no destination. He falls down as he limps but doesn't stop walking. While on his way, he sees wild berries and devours them, but just then, an explosion occurs behind him, taking him by surprise. The boy gets dizzy and starts to hallucinate someone coming behind him. However, even in such conditions, he stands brave and tells the person he has a rifle and is not scared. He limps forward but falls unconscious after a while. While he is asleep, two soldiers approach him. The scene cuts to the Russian army base where Commander Kuznetsov waits for his patrol soldiers. They come in with the little kid who is injured and weak. When the soldiers declared themselves on his side, the boy opened up and introduced himself. The soldiers laughed when the child shook the commander's hand, asking him to introduce himself as well. The soldier feels affection for small child and surrounded him. They made him drink water and fed him. Even the cold commander took care of the child. A nurse named Katya bandages Sergei's wound and is also attracted to his personality. The child asked him to draw a tank on his wound because he wanted to be a soldier when he grew up. Even the wounded soldiers talked to the child and felt relieved. Sergei is fascinated by his commander's weapon and its fate. The commander also answered all the boy's questions and let him play with his honor gun after unloading it. Sergei shows him the tank painted on his stomach and brags about being a soldier himself. The boy recovered very quickly. Nurse Katya asked the commander to leave the boy in the battalion, but he did not agree and said that it would not be safe, he wants to send Sergei to an orphanage. The soldiers spent all their free time with Sergei. He receives many visits during the day. They brought him food sent from far away by their family and even let him play with their twin daughters. One day, a soldier came to the commander to ask him to let the boy stay in the battalion. The soldiers developed a close relationship with the child and considered him their own. His presence takes the weight of war away from them. However, the commander insisted on sending the boy to an orphanage for his own safety. The next day, the enemy attacked and many soldiers were injured. A car came to pick up Sergei to take him to the orphanage. 
The commander announced this news to the child and gave him an honorary wooden pistol as a gift. The boy in turn hugged him and said he feared for the commander's safety. The commander melted in his arms and changed his mind. He asked Sergei to stay with the soldiers as his son. That night, the soldiers were looking for small completed his duties efficiently and even made the soldiers dance for him. The next day, Sergei took the binoculars a little further from the base. While playing with it, he saw someone's foot move from a pile of hay, he ran to the battalion and told the soldiers of his discovery. The soldiers were skeptical but they left with the boy anyway. As they approached the haystack, they were alerted and saw two German spies hiding below. The spies are captured and the child is praised for his intelligence. That night, the commander showed Sergei the legal papers for adoption. Now he is officially the child's father. Sergei knew the commander's feelings for Katya, so in return for her kindness, he brought her to confess to him. But the two see her talking to another man and wrongly assume she is interested in someone else. The base was attacked again by the Germans. This time, Sergei helped the soldiers with all his might, providing ammunition to the soldiers on the front line, but the soldiers on the spot ordered him to return to the hangar because it was too much outside. Danger. When he arrived at the hangar, he saw the commander and others panicking because they had lost phone contact with the colonel. A soldier was sent to repair the broken ropes. Sergei followed the soldier and found him mortally wounded. He asked the dying soldier how to repair the wire and did it himself. The connection returned and more troops were called in. The six-year-old boy saved everyone's lives. We then see the commander and Katya talking by the river. The commander finally confesses his love for her and asks her to be Sergei's mother. Katya was on the moon, but before she could say anything, a soldier approached them and handed a letter to the commander, saying that they had been sent from the base. The next day, all the soldiers left for the new base with Sergei. However, on their way, they come across a minefield that blows off some of their vehicles. The commander is hurt while the group's orderly, who Sergei was close with, dies in the explosion. He cries and hugs the commander. They carry the injured ones with them and continue their journey to their new base. When they finally reach the other base, they meet the commander's leader, the general. He too is impressed by the kid's ambition and congratulates the commander for having such a smart kid. The following day, their division is awarded a guard's banner, and so is the boy. He promises to save his country when the general gives him his batch. One night, their base is attacked brutally, and the commander is trapped under the ruins. Sergei cries for his father and tries to save him. He calls the other soldiers, who finally bring the commander out. The next day, Sergei approaches an injured commander, his hands were hurt while trying to save the commander. The kid is now an inseparable part of the team. He doesn't have a family beside them, and moves wherever they go in the war. The movie ends as the regiment is seen moving to another base. A voice in the background narrates that he even took part in the Stalingrad battle and reached Poland with the soldiers. He is currently known as the world's youngest soldier ever, and the legendary story of his bravery is now spread for the whole world to hear. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.